This is the vegan anarchist. And this video is this going to be a, a message to the anti-identity politics so-called left. And, oh, and basically, anti-depolis left is basically, it's basically a, uh, a, a, less a, it's basically a polite way of saying brochalist or manarchist, because that's what they fucking are. Listen, fucking, listen, fucking anti depol listen. Listen. Yeah, listen. You know what the old, you know there's an old saying that was around anarchism and socialism and radical left circle? And you know what I was saying is, an injury to one is an injury to all. That's what the saying is. And when we put the put class issues because those feminists don't, they're just quacks and, the, and our issues come first. Okay, really? Um, you do realize women make up like almost half the working class? And newsflash, your gay people are working class, trans, people of color, people of different races, sexual identities, sexual orientations, different abilities, disabilities, you name it. And guess what? They're part of the working class, so their issues is working class issues. Listen! anti depot manarchist slash brochalist. Listen. The point is, is that you accused intersectionalists of dividing the working class. But it wasn't us who's dividing the working class. It is the racist, the sexist, the homophobe, the cis normative. Those ableist fucks are the ones dividing the working class. It was, they, who was Rosa Parks getting paid to fucking get people to stand to basically sit there and not refuse to give her a receipt? Who was the Stonewall people who fought back and rioted to being paid for fucking for fucking pro protesting? No, they weren't. They weren't being paid because racism is a scheme by the ruling class to distract us, and it's a deal because some of our own working class believe in this garbage. Oh, but I dated politics cost sister Hillary the election. No, Hillary and the Democrats cost you an election because Hillary is a fucking sucky candidate who's a neoliberal who calls black people super predators and good welfare that many people need to survive. Many people of color. Yeah, why would you vote for a shitty candidate? If there's two shitty candidates, why do even bother voting? Some of them probably vote with Joe Stein, some of the third party. The point is, is not just damn Bernie Bros. Well, Bernie Bros exist for the record because I have gotten a lot of ableist shit from them because my video is still my most watched video. But the point is, it is not because it, it, and you try to blame everybody, but this, at the point is, fuck Hillary, fuck Trump. Hillary had nothing to blame but herself. The Democrats have nothing to blame but themselves. They're bought off. Everybody knows it, and Trump is good enough to good enough a con people to make them think they didn't buy them off. And the difference says working class. Why working class? Well, actually, working class people of color are actually statistically worse off by almost all metrics compared to the white working class. They didn't vote Trump. Either they vote some of them vote Hillary, a lot of them stay home or vote just time. Because yes, there's a lot of voter fraud. But then again, Hillary's a racist fuck and they know it. They fucking know it. Hillary replaced Hillary used dog whistle tactics on Obama. Fuck Obama by the way. Fuck Hillary. But that's the point. No, it is not racism that's it's not, sorry, it is not identity politics that's dividing the working class. It is 
systems of oppressions that they have internalized and bought into that is either caused by or perpetuated by the ruling class, the capitalist fucks, the rich fucks. Truth is, they're just politely saying they're a fucking monarchist when they say they're against identity politics. You know, like the Zerzi and fucking tankies like Jason Unruh. Fuck them. The point is, is that no is not defining the working class. There are lots of people who are in the white working class who hate racism. But they voted Trump. Well, actually, not fair because Trump actually got less votes than Mitt Romney so far. So, so far. I'm just saying so far. So, you know, maybe not, but then again, more people vote for Hillary, so... The point is, yes, but a lot of people, probably like, only like about 25% of people around this vote for Trump of the voting age population. Even, let's say slightly less than half, so it's 12.5, so let's round on to 10. That means 10% of countries around there are fucking racist. That still leaves the other 10 so percent that aren't racist. That's what it means. Or maybe they're not racist, but their jobs got shipped and shipped. And, they, and while pe working class people of color and poor working people of color have known the American Dream a little of horseshit, the white people, they finally realize it's horseshit. They finally realize that. And a lot of them are so brainwashed into it that they rather vote for a billionaire. Well, and then again... Hillary's a fucking, yeah, yeah, the bullshit. A quasi-fascist, not fascist, but has fascist tendencies. The point is, if you say working class comes first, fuck you. Because, guess what? Billions, if not trillions of animals, if you include sea creatures, are being murdered. That's more than a human population. And you know what's even worse? Working class includes people of color and women. And the old, you want to go back to the days where fucking gays, socialists were afraid of saying they're gay because their comrades would isolate them. You want to go back to the times when the people in the Spanish Revolution had to, had to, uh, there had to, women had to form their own collective because the rest of them were like, go back in the fucking kitchen. They're being bossed around by the husband who is being bossed around by the boss. That's what it is. Yes, there's a lot of good critiques against identity politics, but it's bourgeois liberal identity politics. The point is, and yes, those identity politics have real world consequences, material consequences. How do you fucking look at statistics? The point is, is that uh, what's defining the working class? What, the point is, fuck the anti id poll crowd. Fuck them. The revolution must free everybody or nobody. Liberty or death. My goal is total liberation, earth, human, and animal. Some of you just want some of want to liberate the working class and maybe we'll consider the other class because they're not as important even though like literally there's a lot of yeah I give you the reasons but anyways I'm traveling on this is the vegan anarchist no me no milk no masters keep the revolution intersectional fuck yeah baby fuck yeah fuck manarchism brochure